Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today I have the Samsung Mix Tab S with me and today we are going to take a look at the Android 7.0 Android Nougat ROM for the Samsung Mix Tab S. So first of all let's get this tablet out of its case here. So this is Android Nougat on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S as you can see here. Um, <clears throat> the lock screen is the same as on an Android Lollipop and an Android Marshmallow, I mean stock Android. You need to swipe up and um, set in your pattern and yep, here you are. So this is the normal launcher which you get on um, the Android Marshmallow ROM also. So there aren't big changes as you can see. Um, so you don't get the new Pixel Launcher with that ROM, of course you can install it with um, another way or um, with an APK actually, but with this ROM you don't get the Google Pixel Launcher at first place. So let's take a look at this ROM now. So but before we start with the review, I'm using this tablet here um, as my main tablet. So I use this uh, tablet for watching films, playing games and all that stuff, what you do with the tablet. And I'm using this um, um, ROM actually for about um, three, maybe two months. And uh, yeah, so I will um, present my experiences with this ROM also in this video. So let's start with the confirmation that this tablet runs actually Android 7.0 Android Nougat. So at the bottom you can see it, it says Android about tablet Android 7.0. You can click on there and it will say again Android version Android 7.0. You can um, tap three times on this option and you will get this um, Android and Easter egg. You can also press on there and you will get this kind of symbol over there. You can press again and you will get a cat. So this is Android Nougat. Um, let's start with um, the settings. Um, as you can see the settings has got a small design change. It still has this same metro design, this white design with this green icons and the uh, dark top, dark header. Um, you also have the search option of course and uh, yeah. Um, you get standard stuff like wireless and networks which you have on all phones and tablets. Um, you get something called display, so you may know this um, option, but there are actually new options available in this category now. Um, you can set the brightness, um, it also has adaptive brightness and um, it works actually with this um, ROM, it, there isn't any bug about that. You can enable if you want to um, enable the button backlight, um, backlight, as you can see here, now the buttons um, light up there and uh, yeah, you can also disable that. Um, there's something called um, font size and display size. Let's move on to the font size first. Here you can set the um, font size, so you can make it big as it's shown here and you can also make it smaller as you can see here. I like it to be a, um, on default. Let's go back to the um, display size, which is really, re which is a really, really amazing feature because it can scale the um, DPI of the whole system. So I've set a custom one in the developer options and we will move on to, into that later on. But here you have actually um, six options to scale DPI of this tablet. So you can go to the uh, minimum one here. So let's select that and you can see that everything has got smaller. The notification panel has got smaller. And the icons on the home screen got smaller. Everything got smaller and you have more place to show more apps as you can see here. Um, let's get back here. So you can also make it a bit bigger, then everything will get a bit bigger and you can also make it um, very large. So as you can see you will get this phone UI then. If you like this you can also use this one. So I like it to be in the middle here, which is in my opinion the best one available for tablets. Yep. So, um, of course you can also set the um, rotation here as you can see and there's a bug in the rotation. So um, the tablet is uh, in the um, portrait mode as you can see right now, but if you um, change the orientation, so if you um, get the tablet in landscape mode, you will see this um, small kind of glitch over there. 
as you can see I'm not quite sure if you can see it but there's a small glitch graphical glitch as you can see when we rotate the screen and my phone is also not doing well in recording a screen of the tablet maybe it's better when I set the brightness okay so let's um, reset it again and you can see this kind of graphical small glitch which is there which is there for about a second maybe even um, less than a second so let's go back now and move on we of course we have standard stuff like notifications and all that which you also got on Android marshmallow sounds apps storage and you can also use your micro SD card as an external uh, is as an internal storage just like an Android um, Android how is it called Android marshmallow um, you have battery the battery life is uh, amazing on in this ROM it's as good as on any other touch with ROM maybe it's even even better um, so as you can see here it says two days left which is really really amazing so I'm using my tablet to watch um, to watch YouTube videos to watch other videos and even though um, it can hold up up to two days um, of course this tablet has a big battery with about 5000 milliampere but um, I mean two days it's re is really really amazing let's move on uh, to the memory as you can see um, this is the RAM and um, this tablet has about 3 gigabytes of RAM in total you can only use um, 2.7 gigabytes of RAM but as you can see the ROM only uses 724 megabytes of RAM which is really really less it's about 25% um, ah, here you can see it, it says 26% um, here which is really really amazing so multitasking and all that stuff is working really good in this ROM so let's move on now you can also set up different users from here just like an Android Lollipop, uh, Lollipop and all that other stuff and you also have the personal um, personal options and settings and you also get date and time all that standard stuff let's move on into the developer options because there's some option one option with which is new um, it's also about the DPI scaling here you can see it um, it says smallest width so this is the DPI or the DP of the phone just like the scaling option which I showed earlier so here you can maybe select something like um, 900 maybe say okay and you can see everything got smaller and it's really really small you can make it even more smaller um, let's set something like um, 100 or 110 even sorry I mean uh, 1000 uh, 100 say okay and you can see it got more smaller so it gets uh, smaller and smaller um, if you set a bigger um, value over here if you set something like um, maybe 500 it will get bigger of course because the uh, things because the value got smaller as you can see now here you get this full screen um, notification panel because of the bigger DPI um, let's set something like 700 which is my um, own DPI which I use with this tablet as you can see here um, this one is actually the best one which you can set for this tablet so yeah this is the settings that I sh um, and as I said earlier you also have these um, bar over here so for example if you are in the display option options and if you want to go to the developer options you can directly go to the developer options from here which is really amazing so we are done with the settings now let's talk about the bugs so there aren't that many bugs for this ROM um, the biggest bug probably is for the T705 and for the T805 model because the um, sim card is not working so you can't make uh, phone calls or use mobile data on your um, LTE tablet which is um, quite annoying if you are using a sim card in your tablet but if you own a tab wi-fi tablet um, like me so this wouldn't affect you in any way so the another bug another bug which i have shown you already is the um, graphical glitch if you um, rotate the screen and also if you turn the screen off you will get this kind of glitch also 
but it's really 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 hard to see that glitch so it shouldn't um, annoy you actually so one other glitch which uh, is really really annoying is the um, YouTube glitch not glitch it's a bug actually um, the YouTube video sometimes lags and it lags like hell and um, sometimes also the video freezes but the sound is still moving on um, which is uh, which can be really really annoying so let's test it here um, what should I type and uh, yes the Wi-Fi is also quite bad here let's open a video of me here my video of mine As you can see, um, right now we don't have any problem here, but if you scroll, okay, in that case we don't have this lag, but um, in landscape mode, if you hold the tablet in landscape mode and if you scroll between the uh, comments, sometimes it can freeze and may sometimes it takes really, really long um, to get out of the screen, which can really, which, be, which uh, can get really annoying. So if you are a YouTuber, or if you like to watch YouTube videos, I actually don't recommend this <coughs> ROM for you. So this is a really, really big deal breaker um, for many people, I think. So, but now let's move on. So as I said earlier, I'm using this ROM as my daily driver with my on my main phone. I've already installed some apps. Um, this uh, ROM hasn't got that many apps, so as you can see, I've already installed some other apps from the Play Store. And to get the Play Store, you also need to flash the G app. So the apps which you get are the calculator, the camera, the clock app, the contacts app, the downloads app, the email app. I'm not quite sure if we get the email app. I think so. And uh, you get the settings app, of course. So these are the only apps which you get preloaded with the ROM. You can also root it via um, super user with zip from of uh, Chainfire. And uh, yeah, so the ROM is really really light if, uh, when you download it. I think it's about um, 300 megabytes. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about the gaming performance. So the, um, this tablet is a good tablet. I mean, this isn't a mid-range tablet um, or a low-end tablet. Okay, maybe it's not a high-end tablet, but actually it has a good processor, which still, which should be able to run the latest games. Like I don't know. Um, here, as you can see, I have six games on this um, tablet at the moment, and all of these apps um, are able to run on high resolution. So. Um, let's try GTA San Andreas because it's the most uh, graphical game, the most, the heaviest graphical game. So as you can see, no lag, and it looks, it looks really amazing with that um, nice 2K screen. Let's set the um, display settings a bit higher. <clears throat> Let's say resolution 100%. Also make it 85 here. Let's go back. As you can see, still no lag on this tablet which is really really amazing let's take a car see the performance as you can see still no lag which is really really nice So yes, this should be enough. So as you can see, this ROM doesn't have any issues with um, gaming performance. And I mean, it is enough for everything, um, just like any other um, ROM. Um, let's talk about the system UI now. Um, I mean, the notification panel and the um, reasons panel. 
um, as you can see the uh, notification panel you have uh, five um, quick toggles over here just like in touch with and you can expand them to get more um, toggles you have a toggle uh, an option here called edit so you can edit these um, toggles you can add more toggles or you can add um, less toggles so in my, uh, let's add some more toggles here and let's go back and you can see it will get this paged system so you get nine um, toggles per page and uh, yeah let's remove them now so because I'm only using these nine toggles um, of course you get the multi-user and the settings um, icon over there and uh, yeah Yeah, let's open some apps because I want to show you the um, recent panel of the ROM. <laughs> so as you can see, the recent panel uh, are looking like the uh, the normal Android Nougat recent panel. So you get this big recent, which is really really amazing. Um, especially on a tablet so you can hold and recent here recent app item here and drag it at the top here and you can choose another um, app from here so you get this split screen view on the end tablet so this um, mode is also available on touch with roms so this is the first time you get this split screen option on a non touch with um, rom which is really amazing and in my opinion it works even better than on touch with roms um, I mean be just because it's uh, smoother and it's easier to use um, right so as you can see no lag nowhere and yeah this was my review of this rom um, as you can see the rom is really really fast really really smooth and almost everything is working the only bugs um, I mean the only bug is the YouTube lag and maybe the graphical glitch and on um, LTE models you don't get um, the stem broken um, so these three bugs are present in the um, ROM um, uh, for everyone who uses a Wi-Fi tablet and actually don't cares about or, or someone who doesn't care that much about YouTube videos um, can install this ROM and um, I really recommend you at least to give it a try for this ROM. So I, if I missed out something in this video, um, please let me know that in the um, comments of this video, I will try to help out and uh, yeah, peace.